Well, good morning, Pine Belt. Another uh, pretty early in the year back to school week for many people and some out there, maybe not even uh, out there just yet on the bus, but pretty soon you will be. So pretty sure this week everybody gets back if you're not there, but we're in for more of the same. Whether you're uh, going to be in the classroom later today or not, it's going to be very hot and humid starting off on the warm and humid side, a little bit above average at 75. As you see is uh, basically our low. We may lose that one more and get down to 74 here in the next about 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, Forest General Hospital in Hattiesburg otherwise, just looking a little bit hazy there, that air heavy with moisture, not really causing too many problems, not even as much as generally. I believe it's just a degree or two too warm to really even get that general mistiness that we see that kind of brings humidity or uh, visibility down by about half down to like five in uh, many central Pine Belt locations. So not even as much of that, but just as if not more humid out there. And as we warm up, going to lead to some very hot, dangerously hot conditions once again. Just like yesterday, we got up to 100 before those clouds built in and a few showers and thunderstorms that caused some of their own problems when things got a bit windy out there. Like I say, you know, even on these days where we don't expect too much, I believe at any time last week, yesterday had a 10, 20% chance of showers. We expect there to be a few wherever they do pop up, especially when you have this kind of heat in your area, uh, they can really go all out. And that's uh, pretty much what we saw. So none of that today is the good news, giving you an A for your completely arbitrary school day letter grade forecast, but maybe should have put a minus on there because again, that heat going to get up there all the way up to about 98 degrees by four o'clock. You factor in the humidity, we are looking at upwards of 110 as far as the humidity goes. And that is enough to get us into heat advisory, heat warning criteria. Uh, and especially so when you don't see the possibility of too many of those cooling afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And that's your next 12 hours. Here's your next 24. Not looking very rainy at all, especially after the way that we started off late last night. So two dry days in a row. Then you see we start building towards getting a, kind of a smattering of showers going. Once we start heading into the end of the week, we get to that point where when things heat up, we can see some coastal showers starting to drift around. You see our temperature bouncing up and down all over the place. Now all of last week at one point, I do believe I had every day but one uh, with 100. You still see most days are one degree above or below that. And I'm really trying spending probably more time than I should as far as forecast goes, uh, trying to really split which day is going to end up being hotter or not by, you know, when you're talking one degree, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, but when you're this dangerously hot, you're trying to pick out those little things. Is there going to be too much cloud cover too early in the day? Or are there going to be more of those afternoon showers that might spread some rain cool to air around? You can see it doesn't make much of a difference, but that one degree is a lot when it comes down to as humid as it's going to be, especially later on in the week. So when you can lose one air temperature degree when it's that humid, that really comes down to like four plus uh, heat index degrees, which of course the heat index, what it actually feels like for our body. So uh, it could be end up being more important than, than air temperature, which is more for us and statistics and stuff. So. It's what it really feels like. And you see this entire week counting today is going to be very hot, dangerously hot above 105 for that heat index. You don't see that changing and you don't see any major change in terms of what we'll see with uh, active weather all the way for the rest of the week. It's not until we get towards the end and start seeing those little waves coming out based on heating and, and weaknesses in the pressure field elsewhere. So pretty much nothing but heat warnings until those showers arrive. And even then it's going to be pretty few and far between where it cools down.